G'day and welcome back to Ducks All The Gaming and Hot Belleron. Yes, that's right, we are back here in France continuing on our farming adventure and we are having a fun time doing it. A little misty sort of over that way. Anyway, that's all well and good. All right, so we are back. Now, a couple of things that have we have done uh, since the last episode. Uh, we did finish filling up our... Um, greenhouses as we said uh, we've also given a bit of feed to the chickens uh, because we figured well we need to give them some feed and um, so we've done all that uh, I just need to fix that up again and um, that's all tickety boo we did um, do a little bit of tidying up and and all that around the greenhouses which I'll show you shortly when we go past there um, and that's all uh, been sorted out nicely. So I think that's all good. So we've got our chickens up and running, fed, producing, check. We've got our grapes being produced still, check. We've got our greenhouses up and running and producing, check. And we have got, what have we got left on our tasks to do? We've got to finish prepping our fields and we need to look at where we're going to expand our farm. But that'll be a longer term thing, I think. Anyway, all right. So. What we did do is we realised we had to get this field underway as well. This is the last field we harvested. And when I went to, to look at um, getting the field ready, I realised we didn't have any shallow cultivators at all. Um, we got the big, the big JD plough, but um, that's just going to bring up rocks galore. So we, we sort of wanted to minimise the rocks and obviously using a shallow cultivator um, you may still get some some stones come up uh, but it certainly does minimize it so we we went out and we bought ourselves uh, this is the Kinsey um, this is the intermediate size um, cultivator of this but this is the shallow or it might be a harrow anyway it's it's the the shallow one um, we're just giving this a run and seemingly so far so good we haven't seen any stones pop up which is good um, so if we can if we can minimize uh, the impact of of stones in the field then that's even better because then we don't have to worry about running a stone picker and all that sort of stuff now in saying that as well I do have a uh, I do want to swap over our stone pickers because um, there's a new model on the market uh, of our uh, what was it the um, Elho the Scorpio and uh, it has extension bars on it so it extends the width um, if it's operating, I think, by three metres, maybe four metres. Anyway, uh, there's an extension that basically goes on, the, on the, the rollers that pick up the stones. And so we are going to look at upgrading that at some point. I think it was about $90,000, so we want to trade in the other one and, and get the big one, just, just so it makes our life a bit easier picking up the stones. Um, so we'll see how things go with that, uh, but that's not something we need to do right at this point in time. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the most of having our nice new shiny, or it's not so shiny now, um, cultivator, and we're going to get these fields uh, cultivated and ready to go. So obviously, if we don't have to uh, plough our fields in, uh, we'll use the cultivator um, to, uh, to turn them over, and that way hopefully we should um, not have to get the rock picker out all the time for every, every rotation of crop. Um, that would be nice. Anyway. So that's what we're going to do. So we're just going to get this guy. Uh, I'm going to do one more header. Oh, actually, no, I'll just finish this header here. And then we'll be done. We'll put the hired hand on this. And then we've got to get back and finish off um, our grape pruning. We haven't got back to that yet. And uh, we need to... Uh, what else do we need to do? We need to look at our, our planting schedule and see where we're at. Um, I don't think we can start planting until February. I think it was, but we need to get in and have a look at that and sort of also start planning what we're going to do in the next planting cycle, um, as in what crops we're going to run. Um, now I'm still thinking sorghum's a pretty good crop to run, um, but I don't know if we've passed the cutoff for the planting for that. I think we have. Um, but uh, we certainly can't do canola, wheat, barley, I think it was, was the three primaries. Um, but we can look at doing soybean, and, and most of the other ones so we can look at doing that maybe even get some corn going although we haven't got a corn header uh, that is that is fairly easily fixed so that's not too much of an issue so anyway 
All right, so we're going to get the hired hand to finish off this now. So uh, we'll line him up roughly and send him on his way. Okay. Now, while we're over here, I'm just going to head on over here and um, show you what we've done over here. So the greenhouses, as you can see, are up and running. So there you go. We've filled up all the water. This one here is running strawberries. Uh, this one here is running, uh, what's this one running? Strawberries as well. And it's full of water. You can see we've actually um, worn a path in here with the tractor. We have decided we weren't going to put gravel down just purely from the fact that we don't know what we're going to do in here yet. So it's a waste of time spending all that money. So we've um, we've just come through here. And as you can see, here's the lettuce. And then we have the tomatoes and the tomatoes. So basically, just by doing multiple laps with our tractor with the water, we've um, worn a bit of a path in the ground. So um, that's all we're worried about for the moment. Um, so we're, we're good to go now. It's just a matter of hurry up and wait for our production to come through. Um, like I said, our grape facility is still running at the moment, so that's still running. Um, our chickens here, they're nice and uh, young and fertile. And Well, they're actually, no, they're not fertile. They're, they're too young for, for being fertile, but um, they are uh, increasing their health and that now we've given them some food. So they're all happy as, as well. All right. Oh, there's our water, which we put in, of course. Um, so that's all, all done for this side. All right, now the Zeron's going to continue on through there. I'm just going to jump over in the Landini, and we're going to get the rest of this uh, pruned because uh, it's just a job we need to get done. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, so, so things have um, been on the move. Obviously, we've uh, used up a fair bit of that money we had built up um, in the last episode uh, for a good cause though so now um, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to start collecting uh, all of our production material so our oh actually one thing we haven't done we haven't done any bees I haven't put any beehives in yet so we've got to do that as well um, now let me have a look I think the beehives the big ones were like 20 grand a pop uh, where are we uh, animals bees yeah, 20 grand a pop. I don't think we need to have that much though. Although it does produce a fair bit of honey, which is good. Um, 12,500 for 10, that's 33. I mean, you know what, for that, you're getting three times as much for not, what can I do? I can do two of those. Let's, let's do that. I'm gonna put two of these in. And what we're going to do is I will then sell off some crop um, at some point. Right, so we're gonna put these out of the way um but put them where they can sort of help out with our fertilization and, and help our yield a little bit with our crops put one there uh the other one we're gonna put the other one put the other one up over here that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put this one here that's so it's out of the way uh but hopefully that may also help the other the other field over here as well but anyway we've got two running so that's okay so we've got Right, we've got that running. So excellent. So now we've got chickens, we've got bees, we've got greenhouses for production, we've got grapes for production. Um, yeah, so it's it's moving on nicely. So um, hopefully we'll have some eggs and some honey and some uh, fruit and veggie to uh, to sell off, um, and that will uh, and that will help us make some money. Certainly with the bees. Once you put the bees down, there's there's no cost. Uh, impost with the bees um, so you just click the honey and, and away you go um, which is good happy with that and the chickens well there's a little bit of cost impact there in the fact that you have to provide them with um, uh, with with feed seed uh, as feed um, so at the moment we've given them some some wheat uh, but that's okay we can we can deal with that quite easily although we do have to make sure we've got a wheat field or a what is it? Wheat, barley, sorghum, I think it is for chickens. Um, we just have to make sure we have at least one of those crop types available to us in the, um, in the silo. Or alternatively, we go and buy some chicken feed, which is another option. Um, but to do that, we have to have money. And as you can see now, we don't have money. So um, what we also need to look at possibly doing then is selling, selling a crop to make some money. Um, so we've got, a, we've got a bit of stuff in the silo. We can look at doing that. Um, so that's certainly an option. But we'll uh, we'll look at that uh, maybe a little bit later this episode or the next episode or so. Um, 
and get a bit of turnaround and with, with some money. So we do need do need to pay off, as we said in the last episode, that $1.5 million loan. Um, but that will come with time. I mean, it's 1.5 million is not that bad, really. Uh, and I'm sure once we start getting some some more crop throughput and we get some production, um, we should be able to pull that down relatively quickly. So um, here's to hoping that that's actually the go. Anyway, we've got what three runs to go now, and then we'll be finished with the grape maintenance for now. Um, we will need to come through and plow plow through between the vines again uh, we'll probably need to mulch it between the next uh, harvest and now um, but uh, but yeah we're getting there right three to go after this one I miscounted all right let's go wet the whistle Right. I've also on about getting rid of this straw barn as well. We don't really need it. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that may go. What I'm going to put in there probably doesn't really... Oh, I'll probably put another shed in there. I'll put one more shed. Um, it gives us a bit more storage capacity. Um, but I don't think I really need to, to rush into that for the moment. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly an option because this, the, the straw barn we're really not using. Now I do, I have decided I'm going to do some um, bale work on here as well. Uh, whether I do it with straw or with grass, I don't know. We haven't got any grass growing at the moment, obviously. What have we got growing? Let's have a quick look. Um, let me have a look. I'll go put some lime over here. Um, We've got uh, canola. We've got canola growing here, which is fine. So what we've got to do is we've got to plant in 39, 40, 42, 37, and 44. So we're going to be very, very busy with our um, with our planting um, in this cycle. And as you can see here, December, January, February, uh, effectively we can't do anything. I mean... February, we can start planting cotton. Uh, but cotton, I don't think we're going to worry about doing for the moment because it's just the expense is just too high. We've, we've got to get cotton harvesters and all that sort of stuff, and it's really not going to happen. Um, so uh, we're, we're not going to be actually seeding until March. So really, we've got December, January, February to get through um, with very little work for us to do. Although... I am thinking if we if we go the silage route, let's have a look at our silage. Yeah, uh, uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. Silage. We we could we could put one of the fields under grass, and we could do that exclusively just for making silage bales. Um, there's little expense in that. I mean, we've got to buy a bale. I've got to buy a bale stack a trailer. Um, and then we just settle off. I, I, I don't know if that's really going to be a, a great amount of, of profit we'll get out of it. Um, it's an option, uh, certainly. But um, something we can look at. The other the other one I'm looking at doing is getting some oil running. Um, so some canola and sunflower. So we can certainly be running some sunflower um, on our fields. And then we can convert all that into sunflower oil. Um, where is the oil processing plant? Uh, let me have a look. That's the biogas. Debris crusher. That's the livestock market. The grain mill. The bakery. Great processing facility, which we've not bought. Um, biomass. It's got to be up here. Sawmill, carpentry. Railroad silo. Grain elevator. Do we not have spinnery? No, we don't have one. Okay, so if we were going to do lime station, if we were going to do um, 
oil. We need to put our own plant in. That's interesting. Biomass eating plant. I'm sure I saw one on here before. Sawmill, carpentry, lime station. Da, 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 da. Yep, yep, yep. Lime station, grain elevator, spinnery. I haven't missed any, have I? Nope. Well, that means what we'd have to do is, yeah, we'd have to put our own in. So, uh, let go, let's go quickly in here and have a look. So, production-wise, we'd have to put in... Uh, where is it? I just want to see what the footprint size is going to be. Oil mill. There we go. Right, so it's not small. Um, let me see. Not enough money, I know that. Oh, you know what? I could fit it in. We could fit it in. In fact, I could fit it in right there like that. That would work. Yep, okay. All right, well, that's that's what we'll probably end up doing. We'll probably end up just doing that. Um, we'll put our own oil facility in and um, we'll do that. So I think that's what we might look at. That's what, that's what our plan will be. Our goal will be sunflowers. So we will initially... So, primarily sunflower crops, we will, um, so sunflower and grape will be our, our primary. So we'll do sunflower and grape. So most of the fields we'll plant sunflower in, we'll plant, plant probably the smallest field with something like wheat uh, or something like that we can use to feed the chickens so we can get a supply of that. And uh, maybe what we'll also do is a grass field or two that we can do silage production as well and we can sell that off. Um, but I think that might be the way to go. So we've got $90,000 to buy the oil processing facility. Um, what else do we need for that? That's going to be all we're going to need. So, yeah, I think that's a, I think we've come up with a plan now. So that's, so we can do, then we can do sunflower, canola. Uh, we're obviously not going to do olives. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. And then we can expand our, our grapes as well if we wish to. Um, which I think is a given, like we said, we're going to expand that down to field 39. So we'll have two full fields of grapes. So, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, okay, that, that's okay. I, I'm happy with that. We've come up with a, with a bit of a, a plan and a goal now. Um, so uh, let me know what you think down below. Is that is that a good enough plan? Or have you got another suggestion? Uh, happy to take suggestions on what we can also do. Um, I, I'm not going to do sheep and linen and, and the tailor so that's that's off the cards um, i'm not going to do probably any carpentry woodwork type stuff because i just don't do forestry um yeah so, okay so that, that's a bit of a plan right so we'll uh we'll uh, we'll put that into motion so to speak so what we need to do is we need to prep all the fields and uh and get them good to go for well, basically the sunflower or canola, um, and like I said, we'll have one wheat field, and um, that will be that will be sufficient. All right, so we've finished with the grapes. The grapes have now all been pruned, so we can now put the pruner away. We won't be needing that again for a little while. And our hired hand has finished over the other side with um, with the cultivating. So we'll go over and check his work as well. Lower that, no, lower this connect. Right, there we go. Now, so the land any can go away, we're not going to need him for a little while. Uh, we don't really need any. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to park him in here because we're not using this. It keeps him out of the rain, and we're all good. Right, there we go. So let's uh, head back off to the class. Right, there he is there. Right. Let's have a look. I don't think there's any stones in that field whatsoever. And that is excellent. Uh, right, stubble tillage. Yep. Needs lime. Now, doesn't need ploughing, which is good. Um, so yeah, we're all we're all good to go there. So um, effectively, I should be good to plant in all these fields now ready to go. I just want to get some lime wing on here. Uh, and we should do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up. 
Uh, okay, start the engine first. Hold him up. And then we'll uh, we'll see if we can find our fertilizer spreader and we'll go do some spreading of fur. Sorry, lime. Lime, lime, lime. Alright, I need to put this somewhere as well. Might put this over here near the plough. So as you can see too, the other thing I didn't show you in the last episode is um, we put those two little sheds in there as well in the shed here at the end of this shed. Um, so we have got a few, few extra uh, storage options available for our implements and our tractors um, so uh, we're probably actually okay for storage at the moment to be honest um, so we probably don't really need to rush out and think about putting more storage in like so getting rid of the straw bar so um, I might just leave that be for now all right I just can't that I'm gonna grab the lime spreader I don't know how much lime I've got in there. If I need to buy lime, I'm going to be in trouble because we haven't got any cash. So it'll be off to sell some crop so I can buy some lime. Uh, oh, there's some in there. Let's see if it's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be. It's a, it's a larger field. I think we're going to run out of lime. Fold. Right, and off we go. Help us if I um, also. Yeah, we're not going to have anywhere near enough line for this field. Tell that straight away. Anyway, we'll just do what we can do, and then we'll we'll go sell some. Um, some crop off. I think we got some some crops in the in the silo. We can sell off, and we can refill our lime um, that way. Worry about that corner. I might do is I might put the hired hand on this uh, and he'll he'll line himself up better than what I do and uh, stop wasting as much lime and then that way um, I can blame someone else as well. Here you go, have at it. Right, I'll let him go and finish that off. Uh, we will go and find one of our other tractors. Um, let's have a look and see what we've got in our silo. Um, in the silo we've got straw, we've got grass, soybeans, we can sell off some soybeans, we've got sorghum, we've got plenty of sorghum to sell, let's sell some sorghum, shall we? Uh, farmer's shop, grain mill, marisone, now there, I think the three of those are all railway lines, aren't they, or railway areas. Um, the farmer's shop is this one up here, isn't it? Yeah, where we went and dropped off the, uh, what's names? Um, the other one's here. There's Marisone. So that's close. Oh, we could do that, I guess. Okay, let's... let's uh... I don't know. No, we'll we'll have a look. Um, what we're looking at now. I will probably go sell that off off camera. Um, I'll go go see about using the the trains or whatever else because, um, I think we're basically at the end of the day. I don't want to do any work now. Um, but we'll go back and see how this guy's going. Um, we might go close. We might go close. We might just do it. Well, what I do want to do is, while we're here, I want to go over and have a look at um, the greenhouses and see how they're how they're going with production. All right, let's have a, a bit of a look. See, I just want to make sure everything's running nice and smooth. Uh, so production, 
Strawberries 180 litre. Okay, so um, we still got a bit to go there. That's fine. Um, yep, okay, all well and good. I think though, might need to put some lighting over here as well. Uh, I think, I think though, the, putting the, the grapes, not the grapes, the oil processing facility down here is, is going to work for us. Um, I mean, this is effectively just wasted land. What I thought I could do, I could put, um, whether it be sheep or pigs or whatever else in here, but I really don't want to be doing animals on this on this map. So I, th I think putting the oil facility here, because we haven't got one on the map, um, which which surprises me, but then again, that's okay. Um, and then we can we can utilize uh, what we need to to uh, to maximize our profits in that regard. So I think that's fine. We can we can deal with that. But anyway, it is getting quite dark here now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bid you adieu, and we are going to see you in the next episode where we come back and we'll uh, continue on with our farming exploits here in Port Belleron. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and press that alarm notification icon as well. Um, I'd like to send a thanks to all my patrons, which you should be seeing scrolling down on the bottom of the screen uh, around now. Uh, thank you for your support and ongoing support. Uh, it, it is greatly appreciated. And if you wish to support the channel, look down below in the description. There's some details there below. Um, make sure you come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. Details for all that is also down below. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Hort Belleron and Farming Simulator 22 and Dark Sawley Gaming. See you all later. Bye.